Good morning, everybody. How are you doing this morning? Um, this is Saturday. Uh, just a couple of reminders. Don't want you to forget that uh, at one o'clock, um, the Opportunity Cast, the OC, will be going live. Um, interesting topic this morning uh, that we're going to have, so want to tune in for that. Um, and let's see. Then we also have uh, online church this uh, this weekend. Uh, online only. Uh, we will be going. Um, starting at 9.45, our regular online uh, times, and then um, regular church starts at 10. Um, don't forget, parents, um, you've got some coloring sheets and some activity sheets that are there via Flocknote that you can download uh, for your kids. And um, just to let you know, you probably want to continue to look for those um, in the weeks to, as the weeks to come. Um, uh, for our, our church services um, instead of the Bible club bags um, we're going to go posting those those things so that um, at least for the next several weeks um, we won't be passing out those bags so um, let's see um, we will uh, Sunday I'll also be announcing kind of what is going on as far as church services um, uh, but um, I will do that Sunday and then we'll talk about them on the videos and those things um, and uh, social media as we go forward. Um, so the 31st we will be opening, but um, let's, uh, I didn't, I don't want to jump on that until after Sunday. Um, so, um, but just know uh, it's coming. Um, so this morning in my reading, um, uh, the Lord just kind of led me to Psalm 62. And so I just want to read that to you. Um, and, um, ask you a few questions probably afterwards and then uh, be done It'll probably be a shorter one today um, but it's Psalm 62 um, is written by David and um, he's the the subject is to trusting God alone so only trusting in God so it says I am at rest in God alone my salvation comes from him he alone is my rock and my salvation my stronghold and I will never be shaken how long will you threaten a man Will all of you attack as if he was a leaning wall or a tottering stone fence? The only plan to bring him down from his high position. They take pleasure in lying. They bless with their mouths, but they curse inwardly. Rest in God alone, my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I will not be shaken. My salvation and glory depend on God. My strong rock, my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is our refuge. Men are only a vapor, exalted men, an illusion, weighted in the scales. They go up together. They are less than a vapor. Place no trust in oppression or false hope in robbery. If wealth increases, pay no attention to it. God has spoken once, and I have heard this twice. Strength belongs to God, and faithful love belongs to you, Lord. For you repay each according to his works. As I read that, it was just a very comforting um, psalm. But the question I have for you is, what are you resting in? Um, what is... What are you resting in? What are you remaining in? Um, what is your foundation? All these things are, are asked in this. And so as we be begin to continue to walk forward and, as, and, and, and we continue to, to see a new normal and we continue to do all these things, I need to ask you, um, are you resting in Him? Are you... Um, is your hope from him? Is your is is he your refuge? Is is he the one you go to for those things, or are is there other things that are getting in the way? Is there other things that are is driving you? Like you know, we've talked about this a lot, but um, the other the other thing is is you know, Paul writes about I know the secret. I've had a little and I've had a lot, but I've learned that the secret of contentment in all things is that through God being his strength he can do all things and so I'm just asking and I'm just um, I'm hoping that this psalm just kind of leads you into a different kind of rest 
and knowing that it doesn't matter what man says or does. It doesn't matter what our plans are. It, it doesn't matter about any of these things. God is our rest. He is our fortress. He is our strength. He is our refuge, the one we run to, the one who shelters us. That's who God is. And that's what he wants to be for you. And so just as, as, as we are um, um, just getting ready for some changes at church and all those things, I'm just going to ask you, even those things, God should be that refuge. And as we come together in fellowship and enjoy one another's presence once again, um, let's not trade that for the understanding and the trust and the weight of God, if that makes sense. Um, so that's all I've got for today. Like I said, it's going to be a shorter one. Just reminding you um, about this weekend. I want to do that. Um, and just um, let you know that um, we will continue these videos um, after the 31st. I'll continue all through next week. And then uh, after the 31st, I will be continuing the videos. But um, I will not be doing videos on Sundays or Mondays. Um, and we'll see what that schedule looks like. I may have to back one more. I may have to do the weekend. I don't know. But I'm going to still try to do some on Saturday. Um, but um, just to let you know, I, I want to continue. Um, I don't know what we're, I don't know if we're going to go through a Bible series. I don't know how we're going to do it yet. I'm letting the Lord lead me, but I'm excited about it. Uh, just to, to continue to be with you uh, through the, uh, having devotions together um, and being able to to just um, share my heart with you on, on different things. So anyway, guys, I love you to pieces. Um, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. And may you walk in him today in his strength. And may he be the one that you rest in. May he be the one that you trust. May he be your fortress and refuge, not anything else. Um, and walk in him. All right, guys. Love you to pieces. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow live at church, and we'll see you Monday morning.